Yo, initially I was not a big fan of vlogging, um, but I guess I kind of warmed up to it and let y'all see behind the scenes of things that I'm shooting or, um, you know, just my everyday life, paying some bills or just having little secrets revealed has become fun. And in this vlog today, a secret is revealed. Check this out. What's up, man? <laughs> What's going on, dude? What's up, Roger? Yeah, nothing. Donating. The donation, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, that's real right there. Take your pen out. Scratch it. I don't have a yellow pen to see it. <laughs> what's good, man? What's, what's up, man? Yo, what's up? This your boy, Jono, man. A lot of people have always asked me, yo, how the fuck did you come up with cock blocking? <laughs> yo, so I asked you this. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Are you going to Martha's Vineyard this year? I am not going to Martha's Vineyard. I wish I was going to Martha's Vineyard. Okay, why do you wish you was going to Martha's Vineyard? Because Martha's Vineyard is where cock blocking, you know what I'm saying, derives from, man. That's where it all happened. It went down. Me and John O, I um, indirectly, <laughs> inexplicably, cock blocked John O. Um, and uh, from that point on, man, it was just a, an idea. He ran with it, man. He took it and. So it is what it is now, man. Cock blocking, you hey, know what I'm saying? YouTube hey, sensation. So, so I, this is my man Roger, man. Roger was really the catalyst behind fucking cock blocking. We was in Martha's Vineyard, and this motherfucker was cock blocking me. I was cock blocking him for a bunch of chicks. Yeah. Uh, I got back to L.A. Well, I think, I honestly think, Somewhere in us staying in the room together, we was like, Yo, Oh no, we stayed up till about four o'clock in the morning, talk about each other cock the right. entire night. The entire night, we just like was like, he was with a chick. I go over there, and be like, Yo, so what's up? You know what I mean? Like, what you so, doing? So this is actually the David Spade. He's David. He's the real David Spade. Hey, look, can't nobody replace that David right there. But, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this is the man who was behind. Cock blocking. So everybody always asks, it's Roger. This is him. So Roger Piano, that's what it is. Roger Piano. Yo, I'm at Andrew's house. Andrew has challenged me once again. Challenged. He challenged me to a game of pool. Obviously, he don't know what I used to do for a living. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> blow, pe blow people away on the pool table. They used to call him Blow Weenie Queenie. Uh-huh. So... Um, just like I kicked his ass at the mall, I'ma kick his ass playing pool balls. <laughs> pool balls. So, y'all, y'all know the outcome to this. Okay, so Drew beat me the first game, but he had all these crazy rules that I had to follow, and 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 he won. Second game, uh, John won. I um. Uh, Scratch an eight ball. But let me say this. John, oh, that's, no, uh, that's here we go. Here we go. Excuse me. Camera's in his hand. What I was going to say is he said, any rules, let's do it, I'll win. I still won. I won the right way. I made all my balls in. He won because I messed up. So, one to one, I guess. More like one to point five. So. A win is a win. It doesn't make a difference how it is. It, when you wake up the next day and you look in the column, it's a W for me. Okay. See? And play back that video where John's talking about, I cheated. I said, a win is a win. He said, no, you cheated, so. I didn't say you cheated. I said you I made know. all these rules. But you said it's a win to win. I technically tied you the other time. Hey, listen, bottom line is, it's 1-1. One, one. When, I, when I return here, we're going to finish this off. We will. We will. We'll do it. And, and he said we could play by my rules. New York rules, whatever. I mean, it's not me. New York rules. I'm, just... I'm Molly Walker next time we play. Hey, yo. So, I'm in the airport, just blew my favorite spot. Um, this dude over here is faking. Y'all can't see him, but he, he looked like Rick Ross. Hold up. Yeah, he 
looks like Rick Ross, but he's not Rick Ross. And my question to y'all is, would you want to look like somebody like Rick Ross? Does that even make any sense? If you're not him, why would you want to look like him? Uh, it's not like he's the most attractive dude out there. You know, if I'm going to try to look like somebody, shit, I'm going to try to look like Denzel. Motherfucking Blair Underwood. And genuine for that matter. But nigga Rick Ross? You gonna cut your beard and make your beard look like that nigga? Get a big ass belly? And try to look like Rick Ross? You look like a clown. Honestly, you look like a biter who has no identity. And so you wanna be this man. And it's already known that that man wanted to be another man. Come on, man. Grow the fuck up. I wish he'd come back past this way so y'all can see him. Hold on. Man. Hold on, hold on. That's him there with the motherfucking. Uh, With the baseball hat on over there. You can't see the nigga good, but it's just hilarious what people do.